From time immemorial, music, be it vocal or instrumental, has been the chosen medium of expressing devotion to God in multicult, myth-oriented India. A variety of percussion instruments would feature prominently in this list. In ancient India, Dunduvi was the main Anabdabadda, the percussion with drum heads, made mostly of cow or buffalo skin. Dunduvi has other varieties, Deva Dunduvi, Bhumi Dunduvi and Vanaspati. All these percussion instruments were placed on the ground and played with either hands or sticks. After Dunduvi, the next phase of traceable percussions were barrel-shaped dhakka, dholak and mridanga called angavadya as it is braced against a part of the drummer's body usually neck, shoulder or waist during playing. জয়দেব শোনা যায় মৃদঙ্গে অত্যন্ত পারদর্শী ছিলেন আমরা সাহিত্যে চিত্রকলা ভাস্কর্যে দেখছি তা দিনে তা তিনি দিনে বাজে মাদল মৃদঙ্গ মন্দিরা শব্দ উঠে সুসরল In classical times, Angavadya was also described as Pushkaravadya by the great saint Bharat Muni in Natya Shastra. In describing Pushkaravadya, the great saint Bharat Muni spoke of three varieties of Mridanga. But it was engineer god Vishwakarma who gave actual shape to these instruments. The first of them, Alinga, is played appended to the body with a strap around one's neck. The second one, Urdhak, is an upheaded percussion instrument quite similar to the kettle drum in jazz or bongo congas in African music. The third, that is percussion instruments placed on the lap or haunch, are called Ankik. Ankik, on lap mridanga was Harizuki, Myrobalan shaped. Urdhak Mridanga, Job or Barley shaped, and Alinga Mridanga, Gopucha or Cow Tail end shaped. As the body of these Anabdha, skinhead instruments were made of terracotta, they were appellated as Mridanga. In Sanskrit, conjoining of two words, Mrit, Earth, with Anga, body, made the composite name Mridanga, Earthen Body. There is no exact data relating to how and when Mridanga became popular under the name of Khol or Shri Khol in Gaur Bongo during the medieval age. Sri Chaitanya Deva is regarded as the originator of this instrument and he prefixed the word Shri as per the Vaishnavic cult and it was titled Shri Khol. It is the main percussion used in Kirtan and it is considered to be a very auspicious instrument. According to ancient scriptures, Sangeet Parijat, Lord Brahma, one of the trio god supremos, tranquilly exists in the heart of Shrikol. Again it is in Bhakti Ratnakar. Mortalo Anutta Sesto, Midangwa Katar, Kasta Mittika Didmito Idoi Prokari, Shadbobadu Tomo, 
मत्तल संयोगी सर्वबाद्य शोभा पाए विदित शास्त्र मृदंगे ब्रह्मादि दिए स्थिति निरंतर परम मंगल ध्वनि सर्व मनोहर In Assam, Shri Khol was one of the main percussion instruments used during the religious and socio-cultural renaissance ushered by Prophet Shrimanta Shankara Deva. This Shri Khol is presently considered to be the main percussion instrument for Kshatriya dance. Gayan Bayan and all other styles of Vaishnavic musical customs and practices. Almost 500 years ago, in glorifying the name of the Lord Supreme, Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya Deva introduced continuous chanting of the mantra Hare Krishna Hare Rama. Sri Chaitanya Deva wanted primarily to popularize his religious chant to the common people which is why he simplified his process of teaching so bringing in a little change in the shape of ancient midanga he shortened the circumference of right flank drum head to tune to a high pitch so that the kirtan and shrikol were on the same level This instrument is made with a special type of clay. At first, two separate hollow parts are prepared. and then these two shells are joined together to give a final shape afterwards the barrel shaped body is hardened by drying in the sun and then further hardened by putting it into a furnace The shells of Shrikol in Assam or Manipur 
are made of wood derived from the jackfruit tree, ketishu tree, or red sandal tree. Ola is ko kete hai. Ye jo wala hai. Ye lakrik or trees hota to acha nahi hota. Is wrong ka naam hai hengul hai kya? Ha, isko hi rupohi tik rupohi kya hai? Right hand manau, left hand maru. The wood of is from the tree of wang. Earthen shells are predominant in Bengal and Odisha. In order to keep the clay of the shell hard, a covering of thin thread on the entire body is rolled up with glue. This covering is called sik. Then chak or chauni is made. This process may also be followed easily. The pranam, salutation mantra of Sri Kol, is required to be learned at the very beginning of taking Prakashan lesson. <laughs> For the ardent devotees of Lord Krishna, the coal is almost always the instrument everyone wants to learn. Thereafter starts a variety of stroke messages, right hand strokes, left hand strokes and both hand strokes. Some differences exist between how Shri Khol is played in Bengal with that of Assam and Manipur. Stroke messages of Shri Khol are divided into two parts in respect of the degree of blow, heavy message such as dha, ja, gi, etc. And light message like ta, tere ti tere ti tere, etc. There are specific methods of learning Shri Khol. Using one's thumb is also immensely important in playing of the Shri Khol. Middle and index fingers are used for rapidly active playing. For extraction of accurate sound from Kani, the index finger has to be used. Small hand is played by the four fingers of one's right hand. 
The big hand is played by five fingers, which is also called the chapad. Some pertinent technical terms like chu. बीटिंग Lawa in Kirtani beating style is known as theka in the Hindustani style. Sikol batyo shikte gele kol batter hat uti shikte hoy. Thereafter one by one comes prastuti poron Lahor, Chokka, Matan, Hath, Khath, Prabhundho, Pyanch, Murchan or Maan, as also tihai ashtatal is noteworthy among the other well known ancient beats sara prithibite joto sangeet ache তার মধ্যে কীর্তন গানের এই সঙ্গীতটা এমন একটা আশ্চর্য সঙ্গীত যে এক লাইন গানে আটখানা তালের প্রয়োগ যেটা পৃথিবীতে আর কোথাও আছে কিনা সন্দেহ দের ইজ অলসো এ ওয়েল ডিরেক্টেড সিস্টেম অফ রেকর্ডিং দিস বিটস কোন জায়গায় এরকম লেখা থাকে হ্যাঁ এই যে আমি উপরে দেখালাম ত্রিকোল ইন অ্যাসাম which is used as the main percussion instrument with songs like boro geet deho bishor geet etc dance with sri kol is very popular in assam and manipur gayan bayan leaves us absolutely mesmerized pung dance of manipur also fascinates us For Gaudiya Nritya, Sri Khol is the main accompanying percussion. Expression of moods is not feasible without the percussive accompaniment of Sri Khol. In Romindra Shongit, the go songs and dance. This graceful instrument's coordination transforms the song and dance into a divine form. In Bengal, two Sri Khol percussionists are evident as accompanists with kirtan. Shir Badok and Kol Badok. The Sri Khol was introduced to ISKCON by Sri AC Bhaktivedanta Swami. later known as srila prabhupada and ever since the temple started growing the kols have diverged in different types the first is having a fiberglass body with skin heads the second is using brass body with skin heads the third type known as boloram mridango today shri kol or mridanga is widely appreciated around the world
Maestro Sri Gopal Barman plays this percussion instrument either solo or jointly with tabla, also in fusion music in recent times. In modern days, Shrikhol is being used in big processions also. In traditional Nagar Shankirtan, the troubadours of Bengal move and perform to the delight of the masses. The versatility of this percussion instrument, its wide range and verve, make it one of the most enduring of rhythm instruments in Indian music.